attempted to wait. Hold up, damn. Fuck's wrong with me. What's up? What's up? It's me, Trino. And my name's Adam. Today we're gonna buy something for our girl Anita. You already know what's up. <laughs> I already know what's goody. Sorry about this gas. <clears throat> Ignore it. Ignore that that happened and just, just focus on the beauty. My face. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry. Yeah, so this is for our girl Anita. <laughs> this is us yelling for you to want to yell. All right. If you don't like that, we'll. We did it. Yeah. <laughs> it happened. It happened. We're not All right. This one I hear is called Alone With Me. And you know, or you already know, we've been, we've been listening to Hot, um, Hosp again. I can't even pronounce his name. So why would you put a G on it? I want Hop, okay, what is it? What is it? Hopsin. Hops. But that's like a tongue twister. Hopskin? <laughs> okay, no, no, no. I'm not playing. I'm playing. Hops. Hopsin. 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 That's it. Yeah. Yeah, it's complicated as fuck. Just be, how come you can't be called Jose? You know what I mean? <laughs> Pedro, Jesus. Hopskin. Hops, Hobson. There you go, Miko. <sighs> that was, I, that, took, that took a lot of energy out of me. You know, I can't learn new shit. It just, I need like a whole month for me to learn shit like that. All right, <laughs> let's just get into it. Hobson. Alone, Alone with, with me. me. All right, here it goes. He's a very talented man, and he's always switching it up. So I don't even know what to expect. Like this fucking thing. Marcus fucking Hobson, my guy, what up? Don't mean to intervene. How are things going? Talk to me. How you living, G? You look so confused right now. Do you remember me? Cause I've been with you since a teen, fucking you up mentally. I love it, dude. Staying inside your head with a rent is free. I'm just here to make sure you keep all your crazy tendencies. Look at yourself in disbelief, struggle with your identity. Stuck in depression until you diagnose with it clinically. How's your love life? It's still a trifling mess. Nigga, you 35. You haven't found a wife yet? I mean, if I was you, would I be stressed? Why ES? I guess the mail order bride is nice, it might be best <laughs> So how did you manage to get rich yet be so empty? Constantly stuck in a deep old frenzy Maybe your ego ain't eco-friendly Bro, you got a life that we don't envy And I bet suicide must be so tempted Do it Wait, hold up Damn, fuck's wrong with me? I can't leave me alone with me I'm like, who is this nigga? Why do I feel it? It could be good And there's a mirror Wait, hold up Shit, it's got control of me I don't know who I'm supposed to be I'm like, so how's the rap life? Do people enjoy your music? Or are you still spitting that bullshit to destroy the youth with? Be honest, you live in the shadow with Joy and Lucas. Uh -oh. Jealous? <laughs> I know that you are, my point is proof. What the fuck happened to you? You was spitting so cold, you was the ill mind of Hobson on the list with the ghosts. Then you fell off, you should have took a different approach. Uh -huh. I hate to say it, but you'll never be like Kendrick or Cole, nigga. Damn. It's fucked up. That isn't fair, Marcus. I'm hoping that God will answer your prayers, Marcus. But even if he does, the chances are rare that you'll have hands in the air, headlining Madison Square Garden. So Nigga, put the mic down, don't you fight this fight. Cause you the corny rapper, only weird white kids like. So every time the blogs post you, the comments come roast you. I would rather be dead than be caught living in your shoes. Wait, hold up, I'm tripping. Folks wrong with me, I can't leave me alone with me. I'm like, who is this? I got an idea. I'll tell you how it works. It's gonna sound a little outrageous, but hear me out first. You turn your phone off for two weeks and start an outburst of worried family members, which leads to a local town search. And when they find you, you dead inside of your crib with a letter that says goodbye to your kid. <laughs> but you don't get to see him anyway, cause your ex is wild and shit. So when it's little head, it's like you already died. It's a trip. While you reside in heaven and hell, whichever side that it is, your baby mom's a regret the shit she never tried to get fixed. If you're alive, chances are she'll never try to repent. I'm just trying to show you ways to 
and exercise your revenge All you want is love, right? Well, you gon' have to get some balls Shoot your fucking brains out until they splat against the walls I mean, it has to hit the blogs And all your fans will get involved And you'll be missed Cause people don't know what they have until it's lost Hug your dad and kiss your mom Before this transition is done into the new life Your current one is trash, it isn't fun Yeah, everybody got problems And we all fighting this big war But your problems are different You got nothing to live for Folks wrong with me, I can't leave me alone with me I'm like, who is this nigga? Why do I feel it? It could be clear, the man inside the mirror Wait, hold up, please stop, it's got control of me I don't know who I'm supposed to be I'm like, who is this nigga? Why do I feel it? It could be clear, the man inside the mirror What I'm thinking, what you're thinking is not the important thing We are alive right now, that is the important thing It is important that you focus on this fundamental sense of aliveness within you and then you will see there is a natural distance between you and your thought process. Once you create a little space between you and your mind, between you and your body, this is the end of suffering. Don't identify any thought as negative because it's just a thought. Who told you it's negative? It's just a thought. You're making it up, maybe you like it. What's the problem? If you understand it's just a thought, it has no power. If you think it's a reality, then it destroys you. Fuck that motherfucker. It's the mind. Our fucking minds are to be the worst enemy. We're like, we're trying to protect ourselves from like enemies. And we're like, we can be the worst ones. Being so hard on ourselves and shit. Wasn't this about that? This is exactly what that was about. Okay, but can I clear it up? Like, he was looking real GQ and shit while his suits and shit. I like suits. So, for me, it was like, oh, shit, where you buy that suit at? <laughs> that shit was nice. But let's go back to what the fuck it was because you already know I like music and fashion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so that shit was so raw and beautiful, man. Beautiful in a way that I like real the shit. The rawness of it was beautiful. To me, some people don't like that shit, but I, I learned to grow up to be honest with myself because... This is where it's at. If I can't live with this, I'm going to be a mess. Life's already a mess. You got you to gotta be honest with yourself here and here, more important. I, I relate to him so much. Every time I look to him, I feel like I relate more and more to him. The things that he was saying, scary shit that you shouldn't be saying out loud, but why the fuck not? Say that shit out loud. It is what it is. I appreciate it, man. You know? So, what would you get from it? No, for me, it's okay. So, when I was younger, I was really a messed up teenager, oh, young wait. adult, you know, and you're I still, feel like, you're still, you're still there, <laughs> you're still there, <laughs> and, um, um, for me, um, um, I used to listen to Eminem, and I remember it was some of my darkest days, and it was, um, um his, um, um, I think Marshall Matters, Matters album, and there was times when I was just lost in my mind, doing what I did, and there was times that I was crying, and I was listening, I would take everything he was saying, and it was just fucking my head. I feel like, like um, not not like on that kind of level, cause I'm I'm different now, you know. But I feel like I like the 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 way he expresses the concept, himself, the because it's like kind of reminds me back how I used to feel when I used to listen to Eminem. It told a story, and you can see that story living inside your head, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, I like that. I think he's very talented. And he speaks on some real as shit. You know? And it's obviously the whole thing is about him. He's saying things like that I'm pretty sure he hears about. He asks himself too, like, like I'm never gonna get to his level. I'm not gonna be to this level. Like com comparison is the You're worst. You're gonna always thing. be someone's shadow, you know? Yeah, and it's like I feel like for him saying that out loud is so powerful. And how he just like, or oh, you're only liked by little white boys, you know? Because he has a certain sound. And I just feel like. He's saying these things, and these things can stop him, but here he is, keep going. Mm -hmm. I think when you're honest with yourself, there's a, like there's a almost like you're free in another level. And I appreciate that. Like this made me want to like him another level from him. Like yeah, I feel like my song. level with him, like I'm just like, ah, oh, I wouldn't listen to him. I appreciate him. I appreciate his music. But I feel like the more and more I'm like really, really appreciating his music because I feel like there's like like uh like not even just like oh he's honest, like there's like a rawness to him. You know, it's almost like, like, the things that he says, like, you shouldn't be saying it. But people like myself, like, say this shit. Yeah. Say this shit. To me, you it's know? like, a lot of people Literally, don't say this shit out loud to the world. They say it inside their head, you know what I mean? That they're not good enough, they're not this and that. And 
for him to just put that out there like the way he does, you know, it's just the way he tells the story. Mm-hmm. It's fucking awesome. And I love that, you know, obviously his music is his, his way for him to express himself. And for me, when I was younger, I was in my early 20s, even though I look 20, but no, I'm not. I'm 60. <laughs> Anyways, when I was in my early 20s, I, I didn't I didn't have outlets, even though I was an artist, you know, I, I, I draw, I create, like I'm just, I, I like art. That was never an outlet for me. So I remember having all these feelings and I remember um, having a t-shirt and just writing all these. I just, I didn't even think what I was doing at that moment, but I remember getting a white t-shirt and getting a marker and just roll like stuff. I was, at, my, at that moment I was thinking I was doing something creative, but I wrote a lot of stuff that used to make me feel that was defining when I was younger, that was told to me like faggot. Faggot was something that I was told Loser. a lot. But we thought, I didn't write that. <laughs> okay, so these words that I feel like used to make me feel down and that almost like, almost it became like nicknames to me. When I heard it, I would, if, I, if I heard faggot, I will turn. And it was it was just around me. It was just felt like it, were, it was referring to me. Yeah, so that's I, funny. I used to feel like that too. So then I remember getting that shirt and writing it. And I just remember writing it. It set you free. And then I wrote, I, I, I wore the shirt. And I remember wearing it and feeling very overwhelmed because I feel like I'm grabbing, I'm getting attention from this. But at the same time, it was very empowering for me to do that, you know? And I think at that moment, it was almost like I was carrying these words. The words were not defined. I was defining those words. Like, what's up now? Like, call me that, you know? It's whatever. So I feel like his music is that. It's powerful like that. But it's on another level because he's letting a lot of people know. A lot of people that can jump in it and let him know what they fucking think, you know? So I like that, man. I was, yeah, I was, that I was good. I didn't expect it to, to like it as much as I got like And I really <laughs> alright man um, I hope you guys have a beautiful day man let's stay positive let's let's take care of our mind man some people get so focused on going to the gym and taking care of the outer but it's sometimes it's about to really because it's easy to just get you know uh, you know uh, watch what you eat and work the fuck out not that easy believe me <laughs> <laughs> boy it's easy for some people but but to me it's hard when you can fit you mentally take care of that so take care of that because it's easy to fake it it's easy to fake it Bobby especially nowadays it's easy I wish I could fake it baby you look good stop yeah. <laughs> Alright, you guys have a beautiful day. Hey, I got y'all.